because we have a whole bunch of messiness to talk about. Now, why K. Osiris issued a public apology for sexually assaulting rapper Sukiana, why K. Osiris wrote, in an attempt to be playful, I misread the mo moment and violated Sukiana's boundaries. I understand the importance of consent and I'm embarrassed by my behavior. I take full responsibility and I have made um, a multiple attempts to apologize. I have the utmost admiration for Sukiana and it was never my intent to disrespect her. Now, for those who don't know, Osiris began rubbing Sukiana's shoulders at a public event before proceeding to grab her face and force a kiss on her mouth. Now, do you think it's challenging for men to respect a sex positive woman like Sukiana? Do you think it's difficult or confusing for them? Alex, go to you first. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's hard. And plus, I got to see the entire clip, which there was back and forth of them flirting. And, and, and she was, you know, trash talking and he was liking it and he misinterpreted, you know, she is a sex positive brand that talks about giving head and eating booty hole. So when there's a misinterpretation, I can see how and why that happens. Now, this is the issue here, because originally I was going to extend him grace. But when, you know, today, one of his old assistants has come forward and has alleged, an alleged former employee of his, a female, has alleged and exposed her personal experience with his sexual misconduct with her. Not to mention, this has also brought back up that 2019 sexual assault or that, not a sexual assault, the assault on his girlfriend, which, you know, obviously was dropped in 2021. So I'm just saying... These are the facts only. You guys can determine what you feel about it. Isn't what, didn't he have some allegations? Did people, were people trying to call him gay before? Do y'all remember that? I'm 40, child. I, I, I don't know nothing. I mean, I was. <laughs> and the only reason I, I think, <laughs> Claudia, I remember something about that. I, right, I was. I, I, it got me thinking, and alleged, it's all alleged. I was wondering if because of that is sometimes sometimes people overcompensate with mass, what they deem masculine and sexually aggressive with women to how they think straight men should behave. Not saying he is, I don't really know anything about his sexuality, but I was just wondering, it just made me think about that. I, don't know, I just kind of crossed my mind like, hmm, Q, what do you think about this? You know what? I, I, um, find it in my heart to extend grace in this situation. I'm not going to do that song and dance with his past. If we can overlook the things that Chris Brown does and constantly scream, leave him alone, that's in his past. He apologized succinctly, thoroughly, both privately and publicly, and Sukiyana accepted it, and she acknowledged publicly that she accepted it as far as I'm concerned and as far as this case is concerned. There is nothing else to talk about. I and you can't be more upset about the situation than the person it happened to. I think he learned his lesson. I think the people watching may have learned. And I hope moving forward that this young man conducts himself in a manner that's fitting of a man and an entertainer. I, I am extending him grace as well because I, I believe in the video she said she was on, she about turning him out before that. And there was some there was some talk that like Al said, some trash talking. And I will say outside of this, I've always seen him to be, he seemed like he's a nice guy that kind of gets picked on a lot. Mm -hmm. That's what I got from him.